This is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live Sunday, May 21st, 2023. I'm out here but on the uh, east side of my barn, usually where my summer camp firewood is, and my cherry that's right there. I'll show you what's left of the summer camp firewood. That's all I got left. It used to be full all the way through here, and I think I know what I'm gonna do with this stuff, is uh, in this area because I hate how this is right here. Because these pieces down here on the bottom are wet as hell and they won't dry. So I'll show you how I have to load it to make sure uh, people go ahead, people can still buy it and use it. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do, I, I've been selling some of this cherry that Mike just brought me because it, it, was, it was, most of it was dry and ready to go. And I had him put it here. So I, I didn't like how he put these, uh, I didn't like how he put these boards here. Um, it didn't need, this is wide enough. He didn't, he didn't need to use two of them. So I'm gonna take that board out and uh, let's see. All right, I was just trying to look. I haven't seen any chat come up, but I see people are watching. So looks like it's going, I see three thumbs up, but I'm gonna straighten this out. I just want to get this cherry off here. I've already got wood in the truck here. I threw in some uh, some ash and sassafras in here that's nice and dry up in the front. Then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to put some of this cherry in right there. They're only getting a, a, a level or a normal truck load. And then once I get about you know two thirds of the truck loaded with this dry stuff, then I'm going to put this stuff here on the back and uh, do that. So. That, that, and then when I go over to the customer, he's only he's only like five miles away, and uh, I'll be right up front with him and say, "Hey, this stuff's wet. Let's get it on the bottom of your rack. We'll put, put this other stuff on top. By the time you get to that stuff right there, Fourth of July or however long it takes them, it'll be ready." But uh, here comes Mom coming back from uh, from getting the newspaper. So say hi to Mom, Randy Clay. But for some, like I say, I don't, I'm not seeing the, the, the chat coming up. But I know you're watching. There goes mom. So I don't know what to. Let me let me try hitting this chat thing again. And it says uh, now I see the chat. Now I see the chat. Looks like the best friends forever are here. That would be Colleen, Stacy, and Patricia. Thanks for stopping in, guys. There's Jeremy Dyke Dirkstra. See he's here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna go in and grab my gloves. I'm gonna start loading this cherry. And uh, this is the time of year I start losing the signal. So if we lose the signal, I guess that's the end of the video. And I'm gonna be driving over there and we'll see how that goes. But I'll, I'll try to keep it going the best as possible. But there's no guarantees. So let me grab my gloves and uh, we'll get loaded. It, won't, it shouldn't take more than you know 10 minutes to get this loaded. Then we'll uh, road trip, road trip. Gotta hit the road. But as you can see, I uh, survived my procedure, the colonoscopy. I will say, uh, Robin of uh, Robin Hoddle of uh, Outdoors with, with Larry and Robin, she said, when they uh, give you the anesthesia or whatever, it'll be like you just, you, you, you like take a quick nap you, and you'll wake up and you'll be like, and it'll be all, it'll be all done. So that's exactly what happened. I remember they put, you know, put the mask on me and I was laying on my side and uh, next thing I know I, I started feeling sleepy and then all of a sudden she's wheeling me back into the room and it was all done. They, uh, they took out, I don't know how many polyps, I, I think just like a couple of them and they were going to send it out, send those out for testing and uh, this week. I got to go back to the hospital on Wednesday and they're going to do another check a gastrological test or, or whatever. I got to meet the guy that did the colonoscopy and and uh, he's doing tests from like 8 till 9. And then at 10, I got a 10 a.m. I got an appointment to uh, they're going to do some like electrical shocks on my nerves to see which ones are still working. So 
that's gonna take another hour. So I'll be there. I, I'm gonna have to get up at seven o'clock and drive in. I can't eat anything after midnight. And then I'll m maybe have an hour break between my next, my next test at the hospital. So basically I'm gonna be there for at least half the day on, on, two, on uh, Wednesday. Then I gotta go back to the hospital on Thursday and they're gonna do what's called a nuclear test, whatever that means. And uh, that starts at 9 a.m. on Thursday. And I guess they inject you with, with something and you can't leave there. You gotta wait like two hours for it to take effect and then they do testing on you. And a couple people have told me, oh, I've had that, that's real painful. Well, thanks for making me feel better, guys. So, like I say, they must, I think I got all the time in the world and gas is free to go in there and, and do that. This, this upcoming week is usually one of my busiest weeks of the year. But I will have to say this week has been the best in months. This, this right here, this normal truck load or face cord is the, my eighth delivery this week. I did, uh, this will be my fourth one alone. Mike did, Mike did two of them, two deliveries alone for me, and then we did two together. And I was just adding up the total sales. I did have one guy come here and pick up some campfire wood on Friday, and, uh, oh no, it's Thursday. And uh, he paid me $25, but my sales dollars for the week were over $1,800, which is pretty darn good. Good. And next week should be good too because of the holiday coming up. It's just, you know, obviously it's for the veterans. It's, you know, but it's the unofficial kickoff of the summer and a lot of the camping season starts. So I should have a good week next week. And I, I've already, uh, now is Paul Wagner here? Is Paul here? These are kind of green. I'll put this over. But I, uh, I got a delivery to do. I got it one scheduled for Tuesday. Right now, Monday's open. But I got to go to South Haven, Paul. And I got a wheelbarrow of woods to the guy's backyard and stack it. I was thinking about picking you up and having you help me. And then I'll buy you lunch at Clementine's or something. So if Paul's here and heard that, if Paul joins later, somebody let him know what I want to do. But... If Paul's not, I don't know if he's going to be up at his South Haven house or not. So if, if he's not here, I might send him a text later. But I'll look down there and when I get on the other side of the camera, Paul, and you're here, let me know so I can see the chat because I can't see the chat from over here. Like I say, I'm, you know, look how nice this chair is. You know, I, I, my delivery yesterday, this is basically the same delivery as I did yesterday. I charged them $200 because they're 30 miles away, where these people are about five miles away. And they've been buying from me for years. And I did, I did ask them, I, I texted them, I said, would you mind if I live stream it? And he said, go ahead. So I gave him a $10 discount. So 140 for the wood. And normally I charge $30 delivered local, which is under 10 miles. Um, I'm only charging them 20 bucks for the delivery. And they'll like this wood. They normally just get like one, one truckload or maybe one, they might order a half a truckload in August or something. Well, this, this is what I wanted to get to, the, these boards that I showed you at the beginning. Hey, Mike didn't put them on there quite right what I want to do is uh and this is probably 10 feet long just uh, set this up over there but I got it back in there and put the the, the scrub wood in so I want to get this out I'll take care of that later because I need to back in there right now so I'm gonna move you guys hey Paul while I can see while I can see are you uh, here right now Paul I got to back up and load that stuff up but if you're here Paul let me know because I will be uh, going to South Haven on, uh, on Tuesday. Mike's supposed to work Tuesday. He's going to bring me a load of ash, and we're probably going to split that in the truck. 
then I'm gonna do the delivery, but it's like a one hour drive for me. So now I got a wheelbarrow on stack it. Just that one delivery for Tuesday is gonna take me, you know, over four hours. When you consider the loading of the wheelbarrow bearing time, it's gonna be a Joe cord or oversized truck load. I told him 160 for the wood, 100 to drive there because it's 50 miles away, and then um, 55 to wheelbarrow it to his backyard and stack it, which is like $315 for a Joe cord. That's not bad. So let me, uh, I get the truck in there and uh, load up the, uh, the junk wood, the pre not premium, but this is how you force people to buy early from me. But you can clearly see the difference in the wood of what's dry and what's not. I'm gonna throw a couple more of these dry ones in. Give them a good load. Like I say, they're good customers. Take a quick union break while I'm here. While I'm talking, you know, it dries out my mouth. Oh. Yeah, the MRI that I had done didn't show show a, cl a clear clear image of my pelvis, so that's why they could do that nu nuclear test. So that's a three hundred dollar. You know, it, the the test itself was probably. Twelve two two thousand dollars or something or more, but I, probably three or four grand actually. I got to pay like three hundred of it, and it didn't do anything. Kind of kind of getting over all these tests, really, folks. Can't find anything, you know. I, I guess I guess I got to have faith in them. Well, who's that? Is that backyard firewood? Is that Jason? Yep, Jason says I should work for free. Just kidding. Yeah, <clears throat> on my Facebook page, you know, whenever I post a picture of a delivery, I do that for every new customer. Um, people start crying when, when it's out, and well, the customer said to dump it. What am I supposed to do? Say no, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend an extra 20 minutes stacking it for you so you can move it somewhere else. Well, I don't know where these people get get their brains from. Jason will tell you. I, I, I tag him. He gets in there. He sticks up for me. He knows how dumb these people are. And they're like, oh, I, I, used, I do it free. You know, I used to do stacking for free. And uh, now I will. Th today's stacking's free because the customer's going to help me. So he'll be right out there with me. And then, then I'll stack for free. But, yeah, I got I to gotta wheelbarrow it and sta Tuesday's delivery. So... That's going to be like a, basically an all-day thing because Mike and I are going to split into the truck and then I'm going to deliver it and uh, hopefully I can get Mike a delivery for when he leaves out of here. He can take with him and do it. But yeah, this maple, yeah, it's got mold on it. I know, I get it. And I, basically, I told the people yesterday I did deliver to, they're basically getting the same thing as that. I go, we and I... I we backed right up to it. They both helped me stack it. So we just gotta get this on the bottom. Cause this stuff, uh, me and Nate, Nate and I split this. Like it was around, as in the fall of 2021. So what is that? Like 18 months this has been here. But never again like this. Never again. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna spend the time stacking it. I'm not gonna measure it. It's just whatever rolls. But we're gonna. Probably put a, at least one foot between rows, maybe two foot between rows, and uh, go all the way down there, all the way across. So there, there, once this area gets full, which is probably going to take months to, then it, then it'll sit and dry and uh, be ready. So I just got to keep selling so I can keep paying, Mike. Phil brought me two loads of cherry. So 
Now I owe him $600 and I owe uh, Nate for that oak he brought me and, and ash and other stuff. I owe him $700. But with the sales this week, I'm waiting to get paid from uh, the restaurant Mike delivered to. So I told those guys I'd give them at least a couple hundred dollars each because uh, I still gotta pay my mechanic to do the rear brakes and the rear axle seals on this. And that's gonna be like $500 in oil change and tire rotation. But I don't know if, he, if he's gonna be able to get it in before uh, for the weekend, next the holiday weekend. He, I know he goes camping a lot, so we might just have to wait till he gets back. But I'm gonna set $500 aside for that. And then uh, I'm gonna have to buy uh, more shag bark from Herb. That's gonna cost me like $400. Oh, and uh, well, I ran to the store this morning real quick before I started this. And uh, there was a guy in there waiting in line behind me and he he uh he asked me if i buy firewood and i said yeah i do and i guess he's a, a logger that lives right here in town i gave him my card i go i don't want green stuff but you know i i think loggers are better to work with than tree guys because tree guys are clueless on what 16 inches is you know this is probably 14 piece of oak but uh they think this or this is 16 inches. I said, yeah, I, I would buy from you. I go, if you ever get shag bark hickory, I would take that or any hickory, because I'm kind of low on it. I go, if you got like a dump trailer and you buck up, buck up some hickory, that, that's like the only wood I'll take green. I, I told him I wanted barkless ash or oak or cherry, but if he has green wood, I, it's gotta be hickory. Cause I don't want, it, 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 um, uh, oak takes forever to dry. And it's got to be stored like I got everything out there in Oak Alley. Which, that stuff should all be ready soon. Yep. Premium. Yeah, I know. I know. But these, these people, like I said, they've been buying for me since like 2014 maybe. Long time. And uh, I've never complained. And I've, I've brought them stuff like this before. But as you can see, this is only like maybe... 30, 33% of the load, the rest is dry, and uh, just properly stored. Yeah, look at this. And this is oak too, but uh, I don't like all the mushrooms on it. I think, I think I'll probably, kind of lightweight too. I think we'll give this to mom, her pile's over here. Ugh. See how many people are watching. Oh, we got 27 watching, only 14 thumbs up. Remember folks, you gotta hit that thumbs up before you get into the, the live chat. Might have to jump out of the live chat, smash the like, and then uh, come back in. But, now the pieces on the top and, the, and the, what's stacked on the perimeter is dry, but you get down to this stuff, I mean, and it weighs a million pounds. Today, the crows have been making all kinds of racket. Normally, it's the Canadians, the Canucks, the geese. They're the ones usually making the racket. I assume you can hear them. Or maybe they're ravens. I don't know what the difference between a crow and a raven is. I like crows, though. They're pretty smart bird. Except when they're making noise. But yeah, I told I told Todd, that's the customer's name, that I'd be there between 10 and 10.30. It's what, about quarter after now? It's less than a 10 minute drive over there. It's almost time to start the road trip. But yeah, this maple, I think that's what it is. Yeah. My brother said he's got the week off from plumbing and he wanted to, wanted to deliver to uh, the lady that does our taxes so we can square up with her. But her son's truck's been broke down in the driveway for months and it's in the way from where we have to stack it at. 
my brother's like, oh, let's just wheelbarrow it, you know? And I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna do that. We need to get, they need to get it out of the way first. You know, it'd be just like me going, you know, he only, he does the firewood just as a side gig, as a hobby, where I'm doing it every single day and I'm not gonna wanna have to wheelbarrow it 20 feet if I don't have to. It's just, it, cause we're not gonna get paid extra for it. We're just doing it just to get the job done. It'd be like me telling him, you know, oh, there's a backhoe coming. Ah, let's just shovel the hole for the plumbing. Let's just do it, let's do it by hand. No, he wouldn't wanna do that. And I don't wanna do what he wants to do. I am gonna be so happy when this junk's gone. But I'm sure, you know, there, there probably isn't any haters here right now. But, uh, you know, they would almost have a point saying this is junk, but it gets stacked properly, I promise you, in a, in a couple months, th when the summer heat, you know, it's gonna be 82 on, on uh, Tuesday when I go to South Haven. Is Paul here yet? Anybody, anybody seen Paul Wagner? Did he show up yet? So I'm going to his uh, stomping grounds, South Haven, which is right, basically, basically right on Lake Michigan. All right, give him a couple more of these junk ones. And, uh, and we're going on a road trip and keep your fingers crossed so we don't lose signal. Cause I'm gonna have to have at least one hand on the steering wheel and I won't be able to monkey around with the phone. All right, there, I would call that a face cord or a truckload. You know, I don't advertise I sell by the face cord. Just when people say they want a face cord, I say that's just like a truckload. It might be a little bit less, who knows, but this is how I transport it and it's like, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm not measuring, I'm not doing it. So let me, uh, I gotta get the, uh, the, the mobile tripod out, out of my truck, and then we're gonna switch you over. We're going on a road trip, so buckle up, folks. Click it or tick it, click it or tick it. But it'll be a quick, it'll be a quick trip. But uh, you know, since I'm going right now, it's gonna be a little difficult when I get there and I got to transfer, I'm not going to use this junk. So I'm not, I got another tripod that's in the truck, which I'll have to take out and then get this set up. And once we're set up, then uh, Todd and I will do the stacking and then, uh, then we'll wrap the video up. So there it is. There's the load, pretty much a face cord. There's Paul. There you are. South Haven on, uh, on Tuesday, Paul. Probably get there around lunchtime. Got a wheelbarrow and stack a load. I was thinking about picking you up, having you come over there and we make a video and we wheelbarrow it, stack it, and then we go out to lunch to Clementine's or somewhere. I've never ate down there. Or a, a, another restaurant that you would suggest. So I need to set you down to, to buckle up. Click it or tick it. Are you even at South Haven right now? Will you be there this week? You know, the holiday's coming up. They say no rain and warm, you know, 82 degrees on Tuesday. It's going to be in the 70s and no rain for the whole week. Or, or 80 on uh, Tuesday. So no guarantees on uh, this holding the signal, folks. Truck runs fine. The new starter's doing great. Let's see where we at. 196.602. All right, I'll let you guys watch, but if I see see the 5 oh, you won't be there till Thursday? Yeah, I'm gonna be in the hospital all day, Wednesday, or half the day on Wednesday and half the day on Thursday. So I got more tests to do. And here's my brother's pile, how's that looking? See, we're gonna split that stuff and take it right over to Mary, all that oak and a little bit of sassafras and uh, mulberry there. And she's, she also lives on Gun Lake, um, not too far from where we're going today. All right, we got the thumbs up up to 19 now. All 
I don't know why the light's on in here. Let me try shut slamming the door harder. I'll have to worry about that later. Yeah, I told him I'd probably get there about 10.30, which it's a short drive. We're gonna take the scenic route. We're gonna go around the lake. I don't think we'll see any bikinis today. It's a little, little chilly, 58 degrees. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but I bet Colleen knows. She can probably just do it without calculating and she knows it right off the top of her head. So we're heading, heading uh, northeast right now. I got a car coming up on me. Put the tow package on. There we go. But yeah, that uh, that logger. I told him if he gets anytime he gets hickory out, I'd buy him if he's had like a dump trailer. He could cut him 16 inches and then uh, deliver them to me. Gonna be a little bit sketchy when I got a back end next to his garage, and then it's kind of like on a hillside where we're going. But yeah, it's a night, nice day. We've been having lots of good weather. Although it was a little chilly, I had to shut my window last night. Cats couldn't go in and out. So now we're coming up on the, uh, the tree service area by the waterfall. They got a bunch of logs here. I'm surprised they never tried to get a hold of me to buy wood off them. Got a decent, oh, it looks like they hauled away their logs. There's some wood there, folks. What do you think of that? There's a, there's Robin, Larry and Robin. I was just talking about you, saying how you were totally right about the uh, colonoscopy. When they give you that, uh, they give you the, the, that injection, you just like laying there, you feel sleepy, and then the next thing you know, you're getting pushed into your back into your room. It's all done. And it was like a nice nap, and I didn't have a headache or anything, didn't feel sick after it. Little road trip, little Michigan road trip here. Oh, there's Deb at the mill. There's Debbie. Thanks for stopping in, Deb. Oh, there's church, the Baptist church, local Baptist church. I'm going there and say a prayer for my health. But like I said, I hope it, hope it keeps the signal because oh, the passenger door, door is ajar. That's, what, that's why those lights are on. So I'll have to get that when I'm at the customers. But yeah, if Jason at Backyard Firewood's coming up, we're going by uh, Fawn Lake where he came down here and uh, yeah, passenger door ajar. Nice calm day, good day for fishing. There's a little ski boat out. People out on that. Everybody's getting ready for summer. Is it froze up, Brad? Looks like it's working to me. Looks like it's working to me. Here's gas, 0359 a gallon. But it's in and out, like I say, in the middle of nowhere. I'll let you guys look at the lake if it's coming through. But it's a beautiful lake. It's not very deep. It's only at the deepest spot, maybe 20 feet. I'm coming up to their road here. So I got to turn down here and they're at the end of the road.
I don't I don't know what this thing is gonna be like when we get to his house. There's a few islands out there too, party islands. Let's slow down and watch out people walk in. I had to take you out of the uh, out of my tripod because uh, I, I had to hit the reconnect button and the tripod was in the way. I put my windows down. Getting a little bit warm in here. It's like seven or still watching. Must be that bad a signal. That's what happens. You know, unless I'm, I know where I'm at in the city, where there's towers everywhere, you gotta expect to lose the, lose the signal around here. We got 11 watching, We're coming up to his house. We gotta back up next to his garage. And uh, like I said, I'm getting 160 for this load and he's gonna help me stack it. I told him 10.30, it's 10.35. That's a, that's acceptable time. That's not considered late. Uh, that Herbie Kirby in my way. There's his, there's his garage, we gotta back up next to that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go uh, move that Herbie Kirby because it's in the way so I'll take the tripod out there and do that real quick and you can see his rack over there by the house so let me head out there let me head out there real quick you can watch me back in there it's Todd signal's been going in and out so I don't know if this is going to work or not he brought the dog with us yeah, that's what I was just going to do. I was going to move that, but if you can get it, that'll work. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just set this up down there while I back up to it. To, to... Yeah, I weighed in at 211 pounds the other day, but I I got that Lyme disease last year, and it's really messed me up. So yeah, I, I, I've been, I've had MRIs, CAT scans, and just, they're still trying to figure out, they said it should be gone. We have to move, move those. Yep. And then, uh, like I said, man, you are empty. I, I know last time you still had some, you had some wood left. And we just gotta make sure that your dog doesn't run into the tripod. I know he's excited. Hey, Lynn? Yeah, I've had 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 him do that at other people's houses. I've did this too. Okay, and I'll back up. Looks like it's still working, but yeah, I love I love your rack there. Oh, oh, really? So you just take them? Just say I don't, don't litter. Oh, oh, you're burning them. Okay. Yeah, I hear you on that. Yeah. Okay. 